Hello, it's Sammy G Plays, and welcome to another video of a YouTube channel. Now, you might remember my Minecraft Super Mario World timeline. We're going to continue it. We did seven characters last time, and now we're going to do seven more. So, let's get back into it. Now, flat rides aren't really things I tend to do in Minecraft, but I thought there might be a good chance to do a few flat rides. This is one of them. This is the Chaos Circus. You know who I'm talking about. Bowser Jr. Now, I didn't really want to feature any fire effects or water effects because that would properly pretty much ruin this thing. Instead, I didn't do any of those features. I just wanted it to be a um, running touchdown, but not too strong. It was much on the scale of Ramsey's romantic essence, which is really my inspiration. For my next character was the true cheater. I was in the air, but damn So, wood. You can make all sorts of materials with it. And I used it to make my next ride. The biggest structure I've ever made out of wood. This is the Wario Factory. Now this is massive, especially the main attraction, the Mighty Machine, which is a bit like Rush, but up. Only I wanted it to be a bit smaller, but still, just as thrilling as the real deal Rush. In the soft play area on the right, which was very tricky, and on the left, is the Wario Museum Ring. So I wanted it to be like Bowser's castle we talked about earlier, to be in its own little area. Well, an indoor area to be precise. A few days ago, I added the finishing pack. And you can see what I did. I decided to do a bit of a pavement thing, to make it look like it's going around its own little street. Now that, I thought, was a pretty decent detail. Worrying behaviour could go down either way. But there's only one way of behaviour my next character's going down on. When I did Cooper Trooper's water coaster, I thought... It would be the only ride in the World 3 area in particular, but I'd be wrong soon enough. I had another character to do. Well, a couple to be fair. But this is one squid we call... The Blooper. For this particular dark card, I decided to do a Harper slash Aquarium theme. It's just a traditional dark card rather than a spooky ghost train like Blue Lotus, which I talked about earlier. Now it stops off at the tank in so you can have a better look at the fish. Then you went to the harbour, see? I wanted it to be quite clean. Because you have a lot of 
things do not lead to himself and things do not lose him. The prophet says, Thank you for all of you. Stop, stop. Send him to the world. And that's what I want you to do in the first place. I wanted it to be sort of a tour type attraction. Rather than being under the sea, my next character is the big city. Roll up, roll up! It's time for one of the one of the true classics of rides, the Dodgems. Welcome to Toad Town. Now this was a very tricky one to do. Because Dodgems are quite a classic, so I thought well, they would be quite easy, but they were much harder than I anticipated. But true to its name, I wanted it to have a network of paths leading out to other attractions, which I'll talk about in part three. Anyway, I put in two dodgems because space is limited in here. Normally they have 10, 11 dodgems, something like that, but I only wanted two because it hasn't got enough space to fit that many dodgems and I wanted them to make them life size dodgems so it can really make sense to me do two. But I knew how many I wanted to do in the first place. My next character was much easier. Now, a Rapids ride looks easy from the POVs from Rapids rides around the world. They are quite tricky in fact. I wanted it to do white and red because that are, those are the main colours of cheap or very cheap, cheap in my opinion. There's one big drop. Two little drops because rapids do tend to have big and little drops. But my next ride wasn't much harder than it appeared as well. If Donkey Kong's pirate ship wasn't enough, I had to do something even harder for his son, Diddy Kong. Now, in terms of roller coasters, I decided to do a family ride, and in the end, I chose a bobsleigh coaster, which was quite tricky because it's like a half pipe shape, the sort of thing you'd find at a ski resort. I had to do a two lift hills, but also the half pipe shape made it much harder to build than it looked. But I did the best I can and that's all I could do. But things got pretty bad with this particular attraction. But things began to get a bit simpler, especially with my next attraction. You may be wondering, what is this cage for? 
It's all to do with the feeling of this big boy. This is the chain chomp mine. A Vacoma indoor roller coaster. This was a very easy one because it involved in closing the ride. I had done it indoor coasters before, but I didn't want to make this one too long. Again, this was a family ride. I decided to go with the frill one for this one. The biggest involved quite a lot of enclosing. Sort of wanted it to be like Astro Storm at Green Theme Park, much like I did with um, Terra Castle. With, which was my inspiration for Boondocks, as we did earlier. Anyway... Chain Jumps was quite enjoyable build. That's the end of part two. Part three will be coming, so all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching another video on Sammy G Place. Comment, like, Subscribe. I'll see you later and good day.